Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Bite Size Brilliant Basics video. Today we're going to be talking about beam landings, which will hopefully leave your gymnasts seeing the beam, feeling confident and stable in their landing positions. Landing positions from individual acrobatic skills may be in preparation for connection with other skills or to end the individual element or series of skills. A finish position to complete the individual skill or series. A step in position. This could be utilised for the connection and a back walkover joined to a flicked one. This could also be utilised as a finished position at the end of a skill or a series. A relevé position. This could be utilised for the development of connection in a flicked one layout somersault for the promotion of amplitude. A kneeling position to promote alignment with the beam. Here are some key points and the benefits of each of these landing positions for acrobatic skills. Take a look at our Bite Size Brilliant Basics Beam Complex video which had lots of work on Relevé. Start each of these landing positions from a needle scale, then from a split handstand, and finally progress towards from more advanced skills. Using a combination of the various different landing positions can help to develop confidence and produce versatility with the gymnast. For forward acrobatic elements, such as a forward walkover, which could progress to a free forward walkover. These skills have a blind landing and it is therefore important that we get the feet in quickly in a step in position forward in order to create stability. This progression focuses on a fast stand up, eyes looking forward at a position in front of them on the beam and their feet coming in to a step forward position. The gymnast should have visual cues to look at on beam, whether that is looking at the beam itself, looking at their hands, looking at their feet, or looking at the position their feet are about to be placed. Whilst performing their element on beam, the gymnast can see the beam itself, 
their hands whilst in support and in the second images they can see their foot approaching the beam to anticipate a landing. This is important to train when they are performing skills in order to develop confidence. It is also beneficial to connections of skills as it allows the gymnast to anticipate the landing earlier so that they are more prepared for connecting into the next element. In order to develop visual cues whilst on beam and changing from one visual cue position to another, as an activity you could place a brightly coloured object such as a ball at the end of the beam and the gymnast task is to change from looking at the beam in their hands whilst in support to looking for the brightly coloured object. Also, while focusing on your landings, pay attention to your entry into acrobatic skills. Here are some key points on what to look out for in leaps and jumps landings. As an activity, look to develop consistency of landings for different skills and for the variations of landing positions. For a set number completed of each skill in a row, mark down how many successful gold standard landings have been achieved. Look to improve on this each time you complete this activity. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Join us next time where we're going over to the men's artistic side to talk about key bars.